हेलो एवरीवन आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय ऑनलाइन क्लासेस दिस इज ओम मैथ्स कॉर्नर टुडे वी शैल डिस्कस लिमिट्स एंड डेरिवेटिव्स फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास इलेवन सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स दिट्स सो लेट अस प्रोसीड नाउ एक्सरसाइज थर्टीन पॉइंट टू द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज लिमिट्स एंड डेरीवेटिव फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास इलेवन सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स बिफोर दिस इन पार्ट नंबर वन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड द क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द रिमेनिंग क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज in part number 2 the topic is derivatives derivative so let us start now the very first question question number 5 question number 5 for the function f of x is equal to x raised to power 100 divide 100 Plus x raised to power ninety nine upon ninety nine, and so on. X square upon two plus x plus one. Prove that f dash at one equal to one hundred times f dash at zero. So first of all, differentiating with respect to x, we have. before differentiating i want to mention here the rule derivative of x raised to power n is equal to n into x raised to power n minus 1 so this is the rule so from this rule we have now derivative of x raised to power 100 this is equal to 100 into x raised to power 100 minus 1 which becomes 100 x raised to power 99 so from this conclusion we can say derivative of x raised to power 100 divide 100 is equal to this is as it is 100 into x power 99 Just we divided by one hundred, so one hundred one hundred cancelled. We are left with x raised to power ninety nine. So in this question now, differentiating with respect to x, so we write f dash x is equal to one x raised to power one hundred upon one hundred. Derivative is x power ninety nine. Similarly. Here, its derivative is x raised to power ninety-eight plus so on. Its derivative x raised to power two. Derivative is only x. Lastly, the derivative of x is one, and derivative of one is zero. Right now, second thing to prove here f dash one. We put x equal to one. Right hand side becomes one plus one plus so on one plus one. If we count them, how many times we have written? We have added one from this step to this step ninety nine times, including this one. This becomes one hundred. So total this is one hundred. right next right hand side is so this is left hand side what is this left hand side is equal to this now what is right hand side this is equal to 100 into f dash 0 right so what is this 100 into f dash 0 mean in place of x we put 0 0 power 99 plus 0 power 
and so on lastly 0 plus 1 so what is the answer 100 so what we see left hand is 100 left hand side 100 right hand side is also 100 prove that f dash 1 is equal to 100 f dash 0 so what we say hence proved now next question now question number 6 find the derivative of x power n plus a into x power n minus 1 plus a square into x power n minus 2 and so on a, a power n minus 1 into x plus a raised to power n for some fixed real number a right so first of all we consider this uh, polynomial as f of x suppose this is f of x the function name is f of x now what we do we differentiate differentiating with respect to x okay so f x becomes f dash x okay now what is the derivative derivative of uh, x raised to power n plus a is constant so we write it as constant outside derivative of x power n minus 1 next writing a raised to power 2 constant real fix number constant outside so derivative of x power n minus 2 and so on a raised to power n minus 1 is constant so derivative of x plus derivative of a raised to power n but mean to say purely constant so what happens this becomes n into x power n minus 1 plus here a into this power will come here n minus 1 into x power 1 is decreased n minus 1 minus 1 becomes n minus 2 next is plus a square into this power will come here n minus 2 into x raised to power n minus 2 one more in decreased so n minus 3 plus so on a raised to power n minus 1 and derivative of x is 1 and here the derivative of purely constant number is 0 so this is the answer to the question now next question now question number 7 for some constants a and b find the derivative of number first part x minus a into x minus b first of all what we do we multiply this this becomes x square minus a plus b into x plus a into b right so now let f of x the name of this function is f of x is equal to x square minus a plus b into x plus a b right so the derivative f dash x what is the derivative of x square this is 2x minus a plus b x is constant because we know that derivative of x raised to power n is equal to n into x power n minus 1 so derivative of x raised to power 2 is equal to 2 into x power 2 minus 1 1 so this is 2x so okay this is first thing second we know that derivative of k is any constant into x this is equal to k so in place of k this is minus a plus b okay third thing derivative of only constant term is 0 so this is the constant term so its derivative is 0 so this is the answer to first part now next part is find the derivative of a x square plus b whole square first of all what we do we open the square this becomes a x square its whole square 
प्लस टू इंटू ए एक्स स्क्वायर इंटू बी प्लस बी स्क्वायर सो वट वी डू लेट वी कंसिडर दिस एज फंक्शन एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू दिस बिकम्स ए स्क्वायर इंटू एक्स स्क्वायर होल स्क्वायर बिकम्स एक्स रेज टू पावर फोर प्लस टू दिस इज ए एंड दिस बी इज रिटर्न हेयर इन टू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर राइट नो वट वी डू देर फोर एफ डैश एक्स इज इक्वल टू बिकॉज ए स्क्वायर इज कॉन्स्टेंट जस्ट वी आर फाइंडिंग द डेरीवेटिव ऑफ एक्स पावर फोर सिमिलरली टू ए बी इज कॉन्स्टेंट सो वी आर फाइंडिंग द डेरीवेटिव ऑफ एक्स रेज टू पावर टू लास्टली द डेरीवेटिव ऑफ बी स्क्वायर दिस इज प्योरली कॉन्स्टेंट एंड वी नो दैट द कॉन्स्टेंट डेरीवेटिव प्योरली कॉन्स्टेंट डेरीवेटिव इज जीरो okay so here this is a square into x power 4 derivative is 4 into x power 3 plus 2ab x power 2 derivative is 2 into x plus 0 so finally what is the answer this is 4a square into x power 3 2 into 2 4 into ab into x so this is the final answer to the question now next part the question is find the derivative of uh, x minus a divide x minus b so here we have the problem we cannot divide this question so we have to apply one quotient rule quotient rule of derivative what is that this is uh, if we are finding derivative of numerator upon denominator okay u is the numerator v is the denominator then how we find the derivative this is equal to first of all we write the denominator with no change then we find the derivative of numerator which is denoted as u dash then we put minus sign in the formula we write numerator with no change then we differentiate denominator there that is v dash divide square of the denominator so this is called quotient rule of derivative so what we do now in our question let we consider this f of x equal to x minus a divide x minus b so what we say u is x minus a and uh, what is v this is denominator x minus b so what is u dash mean to say derivative of this derivative of x is 1 and derivative of minus a is 0 similarly what is v dash derivative of x is 1 and derivative of minus b is 0 so what we say now f dash x is equal to v we mean x minus b into u dash u dash mean the derivative of numerator which is 1 then we have this minus sign u what is u this is x minus a into v dash what is v dash this is 1 derivative of denominator this is 1 upon v square that is denominator its whole square right so what becomes this becomes f dash x is equal to x minus b next is minus x plus a upon x minus b whole square so final conclusion is f dash x is equal to x x cancel a minus b divide x minus b whole square so this is the answer this is the derivative of the given 
function now next question question number 8 find the derivative of x power n minus a power n whole divide x minus a for some constant a okay again we have the quotient rule what is the quotient rule applying the quotient rule of derivative what is that derivative of u upon v is equal to denominator into u dash minus u into v dash divide v square this is the quotient rule of derivative so in this question what is u this is x power n minus a power n therefore u dash mean derivative of x power n is n into x power n minus 1 and derivative of a raised to power n this is purely constant so its derivative is 0 second thing what is v this is denominator x minus a and what is derivative of denominator v dash this is 1 a constant so derivative 0 so derivative of x raised to power n minus a power n divide x minus a what is this this is equal to how we write this now we write this like this v that is x minus a into derivative of x power n minus a power n minus according to this rule minus sign u u mean x power n minus a power n into derivative of denominator x minus a whole divide x minus a its whole square so this becomes now x minus a into n x power n minus 1 minus x power n minus a power n this and its derivative is 1 whole divide x minus a its whole square so this is the answer to the question right now next question now question number 9 find the derivative of first part f of x is equal to 2x minus 3 upon 4 here f dash x derivative of 2x is 2 and derivative minus 3 by 4 is 0 so this is the answer to the question find the derivative of second part f of x is equal to 5x power 3 plus 3x minus 1 into x minus 1 so here also what we do we multiply x into this whole 5x power 4 plus 3x into x 3x square minus 1 into x minus x next we multiply with minus 1 minus 1 into 5x cube minus 5x power 3 minus 3x minus minus plus 1 so this becomes 5x power 4 minus 5x raised to power 3 this one plus 3x square minus x minus 3x becomes minus 4x lastly plus 1 right after solving this we find f dash x this is 5 into derivative of x raised to power 4 is 4 into x power 3 minus 5 is constant derivative of x power 3 is 3 into x power 2 plus 3 into derivative of x power 2 is 2 into x minus derivative of 4x is 4 derivative of 1 is 0 so finally we have 5 into 4 20 x power 3 
माइनस फिफ्टीन एक्स पावर टू प्लस सिक्स एक्स माइनस फोर सो दिस इज द आंसर नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पार्ट नंबर थ्री फाइंड द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ एफ ऑफ एक्स इक्वल टू एक्स पावर माइनस थ्री इंटू फाइव प्लस थ्री एक्स वंस अगेन वी सॉल्व दिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस बिकम्स फाइव इंटू एक्स पावर माइनस थ्री प्लस थ्री इंटू एक्स रेज टू पावर माइनस थ्री इंटू वन एक्स पावर वन दिस इज माइनस टू सो एफ डैश एक्स इज इक्वल टू फाइव एज इट इज डेरीवेटिव ऑफ एक्स पावर माइनस थ्री दिस पावर विल कम हेयर थ्री इंटू एक्स पावर माइनस थ्री माइनस वन प्लस थ्री इज कॉन्स्टेंट डेरीवेटिव ऑफ एक्स पावर माइनस टू इज माइनस टू इंटू एक्स पावर माइनस टू माइनस वन ओके बिकॉज डेरीवेटिव ऑफ एक्स पावर एन इज इक्वल टू एन इंटू एक्स पावर एन माइनस वन right so here now this becomes 5 into minus 3 is minus 15 x power minus 4 minus 6 x raised to power minus 3 so this is our answer now next part part number 4 f of x is equal to x power 5 into 3 minus 6 into x power minus 9 again we write this as 3 into x power 5 This becomes three x raised to power five minus six into x power minus nine into x power five is x raised to power minus four. Therefore, what is f dash x? This is equal to three is constant, and derivative of x power five becomes five into x power four minus six is constant. And derivative of x power minus four is minus four into x power minus four minus one. So this becomes three into five is fifteen. X raised to power four minus six into minus four is plus twenty four. X raised to power minus five. So this is our answer. Now next part. Part number five. Here f of x is equal to x power minus four into three minus four into x power minus five. Here also we solve the question. This becomes three into x raised to power minus four. Next is minus four into x power minus four into x power minus five is x power minus nine. So we say f dash x is equal to three is constant. And here, derivative of x power minus four is minus four into x power minus four minus one. Next is minus four is constant. Writing outside. Now, derivative of x power minus nine is minus nine into x power minus nine minus one. Right. So this way we have three into minus four minus twelve into x raised to power minus five. This is minus four into minus nine plus thirty six x raised to power minus ten. So this is the answer. Now question number nine, part number six. Find the derivative of f of x is equal to two upon x plus one minus x square upon three x minus one. So first of all, simply find this function that is taking the LCM. Okay, so LCM two into three x minus one is six x minus two. Next minus sign is here. X square into x plus one becomes x raised to power three plus x square. And in the denominator we have x plus one into three x minus one. So this becomes six x minus two minus x power three minus x power two. In the denominator, this is three x square minus one x plus three x becomes plus two x, and that is minus one. So 
Moreover, we can write this as uh, minus x raised to power 3 minus x square plus 6x minus 2 divide 3x square plus 2x minus 1. Okay. So, here apply, we apply the quotient rule of derivative. What is that? Derivative of u upon v is equal to v into u dash minus u into v dash divide v square. This is the quotient rule of derivative. Therefore, here in this question f dash x is equal to denominator that is 3x square plus 2x minus 1 v u dash its derivative numerator's derivative minus x cube derivative is minus 3x square minus x square derivative is minus 2x plus 6x derivative is 6 minus 2 derivative is 0 v into u dash minus u what is u this whole is u minus x power 3 minus x square plus 6x minus 2 next is into v dash its derivative 3 into 2 6x plus 2x derivative is 2 whole divide square of the denominator that is 3x square plus 2x minus 1 its whole square right on simplifying this we can get the answer now the thing is if you see the answer key of the textbook then you will find that answer is not not telling for what the answer is not telling here what they did 2 upon x plus 1 here they applied quotient rule here again they applied quotient rule different quotient rules minus remains as, as it is okay that is also one way of solving the question but uh, if we solve this way there is no problem we can solve the question this way also okay now we come to next question question number 10 Find the derivative of cos of x from first principle. Okay. Now what, what is the function here? f of x is equal to cos of x. Uh, using first principle. First principle. f dash x is equal to limit x approaches to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divide h this is the first principle so here this is limit h approaches to 0 f of x plus h becomes cos of x plus h minus f of x this is cos of x divide h Right? Now, one thing we know in the numerator, we know that cos c minus cos d is equal to minus 2 sin c plus d upon 2 into sin of c minus d upon 2. So, here what is this? c is x plus h. So, this is minus 2 into sin x plus h plus d d is x plus x upon 2 into sine c minus d that is x plus h minus d mean minus x upon 2 right so what we write here we say this is equal to minus 2 sine of x plus x is 2x 2x upon 2 is x x plus h upon 2 into sine of x x cancelled h upon 2 right so we apply this rule 
here this equal to limit h approaches to 0 this whole becomes minus 2 sine of x plus h upon 2 into sine of h upon 2 divide h right so first of all we applied cd formula right now we know that limit x approaches to 0 sin of x divide x the value is 1 this is the fundamental result ok so here what we do this 2 will come here the question becomes limit x approaches to 0 minus uh, we write here minus sine of x plus h upon 2 into this was sine h by 2 divide this was h and this 2 comes here in the denominator ok for what we are doing this because we know this identity we know this result this becomes now 1 so if this is 1 rest of the part of the question we put h is equal to 0 so this is becomes minus sine of x plus 0 upon 2 into this is 1 so what is the final answer final answer is minus sine of x minus sine of x so what was the question find the derivative of cos of x from first principle f of x is equal to cos of x and derivative is minus sine of x right similarly we can find the derivative of other trigonometric ratios also ok mm, I want to mention here the results what are the derivatives of the trigonometric ratios the very first one is derivative of sine of x this is equal to cos of x next one is derivative of cos of x is minus sine of x next one is derivative of tangent of x is secant square x next one is derivative of cotangent x is minus cosecant square of x next one derivative of secant of x is equal to secant x into tangent of x next one is derivative of cosecant x is minus cosecant x into cotangent x so these are the results these are the derivatives of the t ratios all the t ratios sin x cos x tangent x cotangent x secant x cosecant x right now we move towards question number 11 question number 11 the statement is find the derivative of the following functions number one f of x is equal to sin x into cos x so my dear students here we apply the product rule of derivative what is that this is derivative of u into v is equal to u into v dash plus v into u dash so here what we do f dash x is equal to sine of x that is this is u 
v dash mean second function its derivative that is we write derivative of cos of x next is plus sign this is the rule by part we also say derivative by part okay plus v v mean cos of x into derivative of q that is derivative of sin of x right so what is the answer this is sin of x into derivative of cos x is minus sin x plus this cos x into derivative of sin x is cos x so finally what is the answer cos x into cos x is cos square x minus sin square x and we know the identity cos square x minus sin square x this is the identity we can say cos 2x right so this was our question question number 1 part number 1 question number 11 now next part second part what is this this find the derivative of f of x equal to secant x now what is the rule derivative of secant x is secant x into tangent x so we write f dash x is equal to secant x into tangent x this is the answer to this question now next question number 11 third part function is 5 into secant x plus 4 into cos cos x so what is derivative f dash x 5 is constant as it is and what is the derivative of secant x this is secant x into tangent x next is plus 4 what is derivative of cos x this is minus sin x okay so these results should be on the tips only then we can solve the question very easily next part or further we can solve this as 5 into secant of x tangent of x minus 4 into sin of x okay next is find the derivative of f of x is equal to cosecant x f dash x is equal to what is the derivative of cosecant x this is minus cosecant x into cotangent x minus cosecant x into cotangent x so this is the final answer okay now next part question is find the derivative of 3 cotangent x plus 5 cosecant x so here 5 f dash x is equal to 3 into what is the derivative of cotangent x this is minus cosecant square x plus 5 and what is derivative of cosecant x this is minus cosecant x into cotangent x so this is the answer okay now next part question is find the derivative of 5 sin x minus 6 cos x plus 7 so here f dash x is equal to 5 into derivative of sin x is cos x minus 6 as it is derivative of cos x is minus sin x plus 7 constant its derivative is always equal to 0 so we have 5 into cos of x minus minus plus 6 into sin of x as the result derivative of this function next part number 7 what is the question find the derivative of f of x equal to 2 tangent x minus 7 secant x so here we have f dash x is equal to 2 tangent x its derivative is secant square x minus 7 secant x its derivative is 
secant x into tangent x. So finally, what is the answer? 2 secant square x minus 7 secant x into tangent x. Okay, so this is our answer to the question. That's all. Thank you very much.